three songs immortalized by British soldiers in two world wars. And it's music that immortalized one of the many incidents in the battle for Normandy. Piper Bill Millen fed his bagpipes at the head of Lord Lovett's commanders on their march from the landing beaches to Pegasus Bridge, which was attacked by the 6th Airborne Division on the night before D-Day. Under enemy fire, Bill led his comrades across the bridge, still playing his pipes. So while they were shooting like mad, you could hear the sharp, or the bullets, whatever it was, pinging off the bridge, of course. And I started to walk across playing, they stopped, and uh, we were along the road to the second bridge, I could see the paras, and I said, don't come across, it's under fire. But I looked around at Lovett, he said, just carry on. And when I got onto the centre of the bridge, the firing ceased, and it didn't start again until after I had reached the other side. Two things crossed my mind in the journey from the beach to Pegasus Bridge and that, that, during the actual crossing. One was uh, to keep the bagpipes in tune because Lovett was a piper himself and even at the heat of battle is a bit critical at times. You know, you've missed out three notes there, Piper. Something silly like that. Uh, and uh, the other thing was crossing bridge thinking of my girlfriend in England. So the bagpipes have been out of tune and the girlfriend. Those were the two thoughts. As you crossed the bridge? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I believe you met a German after the war yeah. who'd been on the bridge. What, what, tell us about well, that. Well, he was, he was telling me about it. Uh, I asked him, actually, uh, it was he on that, and he told me the whole story. And then he said, uh, the reason we didn't shoot at you because we just couldn't believe it, that someone could be doing that in the bridge under fire, someone with a kilt on and walking across there like some madman. The remarkable story of Piper Bill Millen, 